So data exploration, understanding data table profiles. So sometimes you just want to see the profile of whatever it is. What's this query? Let's have a look at what it is all about. You know, just a quick profile look. How will that work? So let's check. So let's use a query to determine. Let's the last query we did. Let's see if we can check the profile for the query. Okay, so let me go into get data. Let's go to the query. How do I quickly get back to my query? Edit queries. Let's view edit queries data source. Query, query, query. Where's view my queries? I have a view button. See, I'm used to the Excel bit where I can just view it. So anyway. I, I can't view my queries. I have to just right click and edit, but there's a view query button. So here we are. I want to know the profile of this query. So let's duplicate this query. We're going to duplicate this query. Okay, so I've duplicated my query, right? And so this is my query. Hmm. Well, I, I've, well, let me just find what profile is this query, this second query, let's test it. So let me come to a new query. Let's go to, um, I'm going to add a new source, right? New source and say blank query. Yeah, so I'm just going to write a blank query. And this query, when you want to test the profile for something, you, you just say equals to, in the blank query, equals to table, and spell table, table dot profile. And then I open my bracket, and normally I open my bracket, and then I just type the name of the query, right? So we're testing auto headings recon uh, XLS X. So if I do that, auto headings recon XLS X. Now close my bracket. Unfortunately, I don't think this will work. So let's look. See. Yep, it didn't work, and that's because our name has spaces. If our name didn't have any spaces, it will work fine. But because our name has spaces, we need to do some funny additions to this code. We have to put a hash here. Then we now need to put a double quote, and then we go to the end of the code here and now put a double quote. And by the way, you shouldn't put a dot in between this recon and XLSX. So if I enter, should work this time. So now it's giving me analysis of this data saying that uh, minimum April SEP, of course, we wouldn't have that uh, basics and stuff. Uh, it's not really useful, but this just identifies or gives you detailed analysis of that query data. So, so here, if you check, I mean, it says department, like education, the minimum is null, 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 null. All of this is null. Now, if you look up at the, at the data types, the one that is actually working here, look at it, the count, 1.2, 1.2. This Anytime you see ABC123, ABC123, it's very annoying. ABC123 is a very, very wicked data type. Let, let's go back. Come here and check. Here we have ABC123, ABC. These are what you should always do when you do your queries is highlight and change the data type. Never leave any. Any is terrible. Make this text. Now, these are ABC123, ABC123. You can do maths with ABC123. ABC123 means any. Make sure that your data types are the end of your query. Once you finish your query, highlight everything and make sure the data types are correct. So decimal, maybe this is a decimal number, right? All these are decimal numbers. This guy can be text, which is already text. So that's key. So I'm going to apply this, apply. And because this is my new query that I did depends on this, if I come back to this query, and then let me um, apply. So now, I mean, look at all this. No, 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 no. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. Anyway, here we're talking about, if you look at this, this is auto headings recon, recon XLSX. And I think where I went to do all those corrections was in auto heading recon XLS2. So I didn't correct this one. So this one still has all those ugly a, B, C, D, one, two, three. So we do that same thing here. Or I could actually change the query. So this query should be looking at the one that ends in two, right? So if I come here and uh, type type two, remember we, we clean the data, I mean the, the data types for two, if I enter, yeah, you see that that's working now, right? 
So too much duplicates kind of gets people confused, right? But anyway, so this works fine. Let's call this one profile. Let's call this profile. All right, so moving on, let's do another one. So moving on, 